For an unscheduled, extremely urgent delivery, a drone is the best option for a swift and flexible response. The drone delivers the package directly from the store to a courier's van, which then incorporates the delivery into its own route. The prioritized order arrives at the store, is commissioned and picked up by the drone. The algorithm calculates at which rendezvous point the courier and drone can meet as soon as possible. The calculation takes into account traffic conditions and all courier routes. The drone sets off with a package. The courier leaves the original route and drives directly to the rendezvous point, while the algorithm recalculates the remaining delivery route. The process takes account of the prioritized delivery. At the rendezvous point, the drone lands on the van, hands over the package, and flies to its next job. The courier takes receipt of the package, carries out the prioritized delivery, and then continues on the delivery route. The incorporation of drones into the delivery chain means that rendezvous points in various different delivery areas can be flexibly connected with several stores. The algorithm ensures sensible flight paths and delivery routes with the van covering the last mile. Mercedes-Benz, vans born to run. Thank you, born to run, yeah? And I think this was a nice description of the perfect world. And uh, yeah, we could finish at this point, but I heard from my backstage team that we have a big problem. You know, coffee drinking is essential for many people, for journalists as well, yes? Yeah. So if you run out of coffee, we'll really have a problem. But we have three experts here, and I want to make use of your force and your power. And uh, Peter, you are running an online marketplace, and now you can show what you can. Can you organize us some coffee for the audience? Let me check if that Let is possible. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, he didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, okay, um, I did a little preparation here. Okay, I can order coffee if you want. Yeah. And we just. You um, want some coffee? And we yeah. just have a try. Yeah. Good. We have to keep the audience awake, yeah? Okay. So, um, yeah, I will just place the order. Cool. Okay. So, and then the order is So, the order is, is, I place it now on my mobile on the, on to the one of your Zero website, yes. Yeah. Um, so, the order is right now processed in the backend systems. Okay. And for all our merchants, we have a platform, what we call the merchant portal. And within that portal, they can do whatever they need for um, talking to, to Syrup. So they see their orders there or returns or uh, whatever uh, need they might have. They can update their products and things like cool. that. Let's and try to get yeah. a web connection okay. to that uh, merchant. That <laughs> so We apologize for the quality. It's really just a, a web connection. We just set up very fast. Mm -hmm. But this is at the merchant. And you can describe Peter, what she's doing. Yeah, OK. So this is one of our merchants, Black and Place. Um, um, we are very happy that he joined that, that um, pilot. And so what, what she's doing now, um, she received the order through the merchant portal. So that's really live, that's right? That's real life. It's yeah. happening in that second. Um, she's doing the packaging like a normal logistic process, right? She, she went to the uh, warehouse, basically, took the coffee. Um, now it's packed. So she adds our a nice sticker, which is on every parcel of syrup. Um, and then she puts the whole um, packed product into the payload box. So of course there was a scanning process um, so that we know, okay, the order is now processed at the merchant. And in that second, um, as our backend systems are connected, so that order is transferred to the, to the Matternet system so that the drone already knows, okay, there's an order and the drone from that moment also knows where to go. So um, it's a completely automated system and interface between the systems. Exactly. So she's now going towards the drone, I guess, right? Yes. So f for her, the process basically is done. She now will hand it over to, uh, to the team of Matternet. Cool. Um, and in our system, we saw already that the product is on its way, right, to the next checkpoint. And we have um, states along, along the supply chain, of course, um, so that we really can have a good track and trace about these orders. And these states and also in the next step could be shown to the customer so that the customer always knows, okay, where's my product and when can I expect the delivery? Um, which turns more and more important how faster the delivery is, of course. 
So here's the handover to, to Matanet, and I think I hand over to Andreas yeah, as well. Yeah, Andreas, now, now you're on the driver's seat to answer our questions, and, and please describe what we, what we can see over there. Yes, so first of all, we're now using a human being to do that process that you're going to see now. This yeah. is also being automated um, by, by, by robotics, basically, that would be embedded at immersion like this. Um, so um, our systems, our backends are synchronized. So you know this box, um, it has a QR code on it and a smart um, um, uh, uh, wireless reader. So it, it knows where it goes. Uh, it's, it, it knows that uh, you know we're here waiting for that coffee for that package. Uh, and once it's loaded into the drone, it transmits that information to our drone. Um, so uh, this uh, vehicle, which we call Matter M2, is able to transport up to two kilograms of payload in distances of up to 20 kilometers. Uh, the direct route here is about um, uh, eight kilometers, and um, it's going to take about uh, you know nine to ten minutes uh, for it to arrive here, right? Compare this to traffic and um, you know all the rest of it. This um, vehicle flies at 70 kilometers per hour, right? And, 70 uh, kilometers okay. doesn't see uh, traffic. So uh, once the vehicle is loaded, there is now a series of background checks that are happening uh, on the cloud side of our system, right? So airspace is being checked. Uh, we're going to see that the airspace is clear. There's a number of other uh, checks that are happening to diagnose the state of the vehicle, that it's all healthy and it can, um, it can go. And uh, probably in a couple of minutes' time, we'll see the vehicle getting authorization. Oh, yeah. And there it is. And it's kind of pre-flight check like a normal airplane does as well. And it's fully automated, as I understood. Yeah? Yes, so the idea here everything. is is really push automation. And now it's right? already leaving, so yeah. that's very fast. Yeah. So the vehicle now will ascend at an altitude of 80 meters and it will follow the ground at this 80 meter altitude. So if there's a hill, it's going to go up and down. If there's an obstacle, it's going to go around. And these uh, routes have been pre-authorized by the Federal Office of Civil Aviation here, right? Um, so um, I, um, the, the, uh, one of the key points of being able to make something like this happen uh, is safety, right? So this system has, this vehicle has a bunch of safety systems that allow it to operate in the Swiss airspace. Um, what and, do we uh, see here? That's really the drone flying right now? That's right. So when the vehicle cool. flies, it transmits its position and uh, velocity and um, direction to our cloud system. And that's what we see here integrated with the Daimler backend. And if I look on the left side at Zolicon, this is where the van is standing, right? Exactly. So you come exactly. in the game. So, cool. so what we basically did, we, we connected, of Amazing. course, our, our van. Our backend system is connected uh, to Matternet's backend system. This is connected to Zero's backend system. So we have a blend of these systems, and they now work all nicely together, such that uh, this kind of last mile logistics delivery can be done. So we now see the drone live approaching our side here. And I guess instead of sitting here inside and watching it, I think we go outside and be eyewitness of what's happening now. So just follow us outside, please. You can just come over here, because there you have the best view on the drone. Um, yes, safety always first, yeah? Otherwise, we would not be standing here. So just come over here, please. Have your photographs happy, uh, ready as well. We'll have a photograph who's covering everything, so yet you get enough media afterwards. And uh, the drone will right in the few minutes land on the van of the roof, yeah? Uh, which, Andreas, where are you? Here you are. From which direction is the drone coming in? Uh, I will be coming over from there. From there? Yeah. Yeah. And then, can you describe the landing process now a little bit so that we are yeah. prepared what's happening? Yeah. So the system uh, is flying now autonomously, right? So it has a bunch of coordinates that completely is completely autonomous. There's yeah, it's being, nobody. It's being supervised by no the operations camera, autonomous. Nothing, yeah? No, no, there's absolutely. Completely. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you highlight a key point. Uh, there's no cameras, there's no, we steer very clear of any uh, privacy issues. I mean, we're purely a logistics play and um, uh, our drone is only built for transporting goods from A to B. So uh, the um, flight plan is now loaded into the drone and the drone is executing um, and uh, it will arrive on top of the van with GPS accuracy, which is plus minus um, uh, three meters in this location. And then it will start descending. When it's about 10 meters above the van roof, it will see a beacon signal that is emitted from the uh, from the uh, roof of the van. So you see a round um, you just can close component. Just close if you like to. It's, yeah. it's yours, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, a, a beacon is emitting a, a, a positional reference there and allows the van to land auto automatically 
uh, with precision on the band roof, which is very important from a safety perspective. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see around units uh, behind the Mercedes-Benz logo, there is a black round unit uh, that so has the been integrated. The unit is transmitting yeah. the signal. Yeah. Okay. And that, so the drone that knows where to uh, where exactly. exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's precision landing, yeah. and that yeah. makes it unique. You know, you can't buy that off the shelf somewhere. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, talking about integration and safety, right? If for whatever reason the van departs its location, our cloud systems will know immediately. And then you know it will, the algorithms will kick in, and uh, the drone will be di would be diverted in a different location. So connectivity, connecting the van asset to to the cloud system that controls the whole operation, is the key here. And is there a control? I mean, while flying, if the drone is making a mistake, is anybody looking after the drone? The uh, the operation is being supervised. It's it's like air traffic control. Um, so we operate a command and control center. Uh, currently, it's in Zurich. We also have a system in California, but for the operation today, uh, we have this um, in, in Zurich. Um, and uh, it's all over the air, right? All over the internet um, uh, connections into the, the, the system. So, what happens if, if there's a problem? Can you stop the drone? Can yeah. You, can you explode it? Um, <laughs> no, not explode it, no. You can command it to, to go back. You can command it to go back. Um, you can command it to stop where it is and hold position, right? That's right. The maximum flight time is about 25 minutes. So what happens if, if, if it has to land, but it's not a controlled landing? Um, the, uh, there's a parachute system that is embedded in the, uh, in the drone. Uh, so if you have an anomaly like this, uh, the uh, motor power will be cut off, and then the parachute system will eject, and the parachute system again was developed to meet the safety standard uh, for uh, not causing injuries if, when the drone is, 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 uh, w would be sort of on a parachute fall. Uh, again, uh, just to give you a sense of size, and you will see it in a minute, uh, the drone is about 1.2 by 1.2 meters, and it weighs 10 kilograms. And safety first is always a principle, especially of this, uh, this pilot, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. So tell us something about the weather conditions. If we, have, we have nice weather, weather conditions. What if it's snowing, raining, yeah. fog? Uh, it, because this is the first pilot operating, uh, operation in Zurich, we're starting with a very conservative uh, weather envelope, we call it operational envelope. So we're basically flying in favorable weather, winds up to 8 meters per second gusting at 12, if you, you know, can um, uh, like the specific numbers. And um, uh, in this pilot in Zurich, we will only fly um, in uh, conditions that are not oh, raining. Yeah. You know Your eyes on that. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you, Andreas, but honestly, everybody's now looking at the drone. It's flying very fast, right? It's flying at 70 kilometers per hour, right? And that's the beauty of an automated system for a mega city or a city. And now it's stopping in the air. And that means now it's making the GPS coordination here? That's right. So it has the GPS coordinates of the van. It performs a safety maneuver up there while it gets authorization from the van. Can I land? Is the van roof clear? Yeah. So if another drone is standing there, it's not landing. Yeah, it would not be landing. So it now, now it's starts going down, right? Yeah, so it got the authorization now and it will come down. And all this is automatically happening in the in software, right? Fully automatic process, right? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So now you'll see it uh, recognizing the beacon from the van. Yeah. So now it's making the fine adjustments on the landing, right? That's right. So it slows down and it, it makes sure time, that... Yeah. yeah. So safety first is also visible in this landing process. And you see we have the first guests over there who look what is, what is happening, yeah? And it's going down very smoothly, so nothing happens to the goods landed on the on the roof. It creates some tension, especially for us, I guess. I think it takes advantage of the photo opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Landed, your applause, please. Andreas, very impressive. <laughs> yeah. Great teamwork. Uh, yeah. So it's a pilot. Yeah. Again, you know, I mean, details that that make this work, right? So the vehicle now released its payload by itself. Yeah. And the van driver goes up there, takes the payload, and here we have the first ever delivery of an e-commerce so item. 
happening in Europe, I think globally over a city. D delivered by Zero then, yeah? yeah? And to Zero. So, Peter, be proud. Can you pick up I the package from, up, from yes. your Zero sure. people? And normally the drone would take off again, but for photo purposes, it stays here, right? Yeah, we leave it here. Now you would go to, to the next assignment, go back and pick yeah. up the next parcel, meet the other van and so forth. So I'm so lucky that we are, is Thank there you. really coffee inside? So not that it's... <laughs> I hope we can we have to get the coffee. I will check in a second. <laughs> We're going to have a double check then, yeah? Okay. So that's exactly the moment when... So just come and have a look. Come yeah. And now so we see if we have happy customers. Here is the... Oops, let's put it like this one. I can help. hold it. And here's the coffee, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much tension, honestly. It's a pilot. So, yeah, it's never been done before. Yeah. I'm really proud of being part of it. Okay, so we can hand yeah, over cool. the coffee to... Uh, uh, just open the package. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, uh, here's there's the a black and blaze coffee. Amazing. Cool. Uh, while well. we prepare the coffee, we kindly request you to go back inside and we have the opportunity to get some questions and answers. And here's the smiling owner now huh, of the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> If all customers are as happy as you, uh, I think you'll have a great future. <laughs>